Hello, this is Warpath1985 speaking, and today is seventh day of the 12 days of war, as we're discussing the, <clears throat> not G.I. Joe, but the World Peacekeepers, also known as Click and Play, Humvee. Now, World Peacekeepers, or Click and Play, is another one of those kind of G.I. Joe knockoff toy lines, but also kind of like third party toy lines, that the biggest selling point for them is their vehicles. World features is like no general like exception when it comes to our vehicles as they're actually really good. Of course their plastic is quite thin, fragile, especially with their uh as <clears throat> I please mentioned before, they're like uh, Chinese anti air missile truck, which I think being the particularly really fragile one. However, they always get kind of a little bit overshadowed by their uh much older brothers per se. Um, 21st Century Toys and Elite Force. However, unlike those, well, there's actually another one called Chapmay, but Chapmay is kind of doing their old little thing. It's very confusing. Um, 21st Century Toys went bankrupt around 2009-ish, and Elite Force is pretty much dead at this point because they haven't released anything in like four years now, or is it three years? I can't remember. At least like four years. But anyways, World Beast Series is kind of like a weird spot where G.I. Joe is kind of like doing their own thing with six trans figures and they're kind of right now doing their own thing with uh, 118 skill stuff. Which is really cool, but their races are very slow. And one of those vehicles being, well, the Humvee. Which they released in various different colors and general des designations. There is the standard Humvee, there is the SWAT Humvee, there is the transport Humvee, the canopy Humvee, and <clears throat> there's also a, uh, what was it? There was another like, oh yes, in the green Humvee, which has a grenade launcher instead of a tow missile. Now, the figures that do come with this are actually quite interesting since they are actually well, very different compared to G.I. Joe figures, being less articulated, but having a decent amount of accessories. Let's zoom in a little bit. So focusing on the Humvee. Yeah, I'll probably just take this. <clears throat> yeah, my camera's focusing on the Humvee, it's strange. But the soldiers that are included in here both come with accessories for either be it a vest or a communications backpack. Both of them have like black helmets of goggles that are not removable. Both of them are in like this uh, dry tropical desert camo with black boots and gloves. And a... I can't see it's showing up on camera. Yes, yeah, folks, I'm Humby. I'm just like very noticeable. I believe it's supposed to be a brown belt. Let me check. Nope, a black belt. So very simple details, but ultimately serve their general purpose. <clears throat> the attractions of her figures are mostly just hinges. No actual like ball joints or anything special like that. Just hinges and swivels and other things such as that although they do have like a thigh cut which is pretty cool because the only time J. Joe had thigh cuts was with uh, Storm Shadow and the Red Ninja and that one uh, Renegades uh, <clears throat> was like a four pack and the modern the molds of the uh, Hyo Toys and Retro Collection figures in my teen skill however that's uh, pretty much it for the figures. It also comes with a small, I think it's relatively large. We'll focus on the dog. A little bit. There we go. Yep. It's just standard, like a uh, German Shepherd with an unpainted collar, but it has some, like, spray paint per se. <clears throat> Duplicate the, uh, German Shepherd's um, most iconic color scheme, black and brown. 
does have painted eyes and a couple of details. I believe it's supposed to be like a, a knockoff per se of a uh, uh, Elite Forces. I guess it's called like Riley. Can't remember. For other accessories, they come with a. Uh, let's see. This looks like a dragon missile. <clears throat> or anti armor missile, per se. There's almost like one of these in like uh, a uh, Pro Peace Creepers like vehicle or general set. They both come with uh, M4 carbines. But the made is very soft plastic, which means they bend very easily. And let's warp. Since they're stored in like, these little plastic bags. They, <clears throat> they also come with a metal detector. A box, which you can open up and store items in there. For helicopter sets, so you can store the helicopter by this pistol in there. Because they're really tiny. A oil drum, or generally drum, more or less. A box full of shells, potentially mortar shells. Man, my focusing is like going crazy. There you go. A rack to store all three tow missile missiles per se. However, one's already inside the tow missile itself, which I'll be talking about later. But yeah, you can store the missiles on this little rack. And of course, the other accessories are the vest and the uh, communications backpack. Just zoom out. The Humvee itself is actually the really nicely detailed. And when it comes to Humvees, World Peace Cooper is probably your best option to get like, a bunch of them because they have a, like we said before, a lot of different versions. And they're quite available as well. And that also includes Elite Force, however, to only have just the one Humvee with the Commander's Cupola uh, on it, which is pretty cool. And it's the only Humvee you guys should get with Commander's Cupola for one skin skill well, stuff, which is cool, but also very sucky. And if you're curious if there uh, have any more uh, Humvees when it comes to Elite Force in 21st, 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 21st uh, Century Toys, they do, and they used to have them. They used to be really available at one point, but now they're really expensive. Uh, 25th, not 25th, I can't even remember the name. Uh, Mezco, I believe it was, had these giant die cast ones, and they were pretty cool, but they're super expensive now. Like $500 for just like a standard tan or green one, or just $100, which is absurd, but yeah. <clears throat> Rant aside, uh, it does have opening doors, which is quite nice. Um, a opening rear, and a <clears throat> opening canopy, almost hatches in the doors. It does have a standard World Peace Groupers Universal tow hitch. It's basically their version of the GHL's Universal Tow Hitch, but it's for their little carts that they include in their little Willy's Jeep sets. Um, I wonder if I can get my camera on there. If I can. Just zoom in. Might have bring my flashlight if we have it. Um, one sec, I have to bring my flashlight. Here it is. <clears throat> Have a flash right here. So you can see right here, it does have a steering wheel, a couple other details, including a small little radio. The reason I had to bring up my flashlight because uh, although my room was pretty much uh, pretty nicely lit because I replaced the uh, <clears throat> light bulbs in here, almost a singular one, um, it is still somewhat darker than uh, some of these vehicles because they're pretty much very nicely enclosed. So yeah, it also has a uh, Movable steering wheel, which is also nice. I'm probably move it to the side. There's two, uh, and that's one of the QC issues, so I'll probably mention later. Um, yeah, more details with the radio in there. It does have <clears throat> some grates here and there as well. It's also quite nice. 
However, one problem with my version of the uh, Humvee is that the door can easily come off. And then it's just because these little pieces of a flashing that I can't really get rid of because I don't even want to risk um, removing too much plastic on there because I might break it and I don't want to break it because this vehicle goes for $25 on Amazon. They got for sale for like, what was it, $15? So I didn't want to risk that. But yeah, that's all the general play features of the vehicle where it comes to details. Um, it does not have an engine. You see right here, it's just empty space. <clears throat> However, the turret section per se can move 360 degrees. Including the tow missile itself. It does have some details. Let's move this here. And the tow missile, that's included, also has a couple more pieces of details for general uh, camera systems and etc. It's pretty loose. But that's kind of universal for many of these, like uh, uh, grenade launchers and tow missiles to have for these World Peacekeeper sets. Yeah, and of course you can see it. <clears throat> one of the figures in the turret section, like so. Let's try to move his arms out of the way. And you can see the other figure in the driver's seat, like so. And you still have a lot more space here in the weird put. The other missiles, the oil drum, and the dog. Like so. Let's poke his head through. And voila. So yeah. Be able to see all the figures and general accessories in there. However, I won't be showing that because I will be talking about a little more information about this vehicle. When it comes to the recommendation section, because although there are other videos that haven't been like talking about the recommendations for these um, general special videos, whatever. Um, but this one I will be because to get like a Humvee is really hard, and especially the official GI Joe versions. Those are super very hard to find. Those are usually like, clocking around 100 to 150 dollars. And Elite Force, uh, you can always get the the tan version, the Camaro Scupola, that's still available on Amazon for like $17. There's still like a couple other versions, like uh, the Mezco 21st Century Toys. I believe that's the one which we're see Choice Made One, right? I think so. And then a couple other people who made like RC versions and stuff. More diecast versions as well. They're not outside the Mezco version, but still, I think it's Mezco. Or is it? Yeah, I think it's Mezco. Um. But the War Peacekeepers versions are probably your best option for uh, getting a Humvee, especially with gen varieties, especially those like they're bringing a the SWAT version, which is doesn't really make any sense because probably more even like a, a Bearcat per se instead, or at least uh, I forget what it's called. So I forget what it's called, but it's a armored vehicle. But put image over here. What I'm talking about, um, and also image of Bear Bearcat as well. But yeah, lots of variety with War PC Super stuff. It's really cool, really affordable. I do recommend this vehicle a lot. And for any more final thoughts, um, no, I just can't rethink everything. So yeah, that's all for uh, the seventh day. Yes, seventh day of the uh, 12 Days of War. And uh, yeah, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, bye.